on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. And it all started about, you know, what a woman who was saying that she felt offended when men, black men asked her to smile. Uh, and several of the conversations that happened like that. And she was actually kind of a agreeing. She was trying to she was trying to uh, agree with the men, but she was also trying not to, you know, come down too hard on women. And as we were going back and forth, I'm like and I got to the point to where I was like, do smile. We're asking just for a simple smile. And I said, do black women even act like they like they belong to black men? And she said. Yes, I was like, I was like, I want you to answer this question, not aspirationally, but practically. And she could not give a direct answer. She is like, well, yeah, I want you to brothers. I want you to know we love you. We this, we that. And she went into the politicking of it. I was like, no, answer the question directly. But I saw her, a witness her struggling, trying to not be direct. And I said, okay, do white women act like they belong to white men, like the white men? Yes. Do Asian women act like they belong to Asian men? Yes. Hispanic women act like they belong to Hispanic men? Yes. Do Middle Eastern women act like they belong to Middle Eastern men? Yes. Do black women act like they belong to black men? No. Hey, Kev, I got a question um, going back to one of the subjects that JR um, proposed to the panel and dress how you want to be addressed. And it seems like that's been an ongoing conversation today, specifically, whether it be with the callers that called in or the different people on the panel that was talking about it. And I think that the premise of that whole conversation was based around do is it is it logical or does it make sense that people naturally judge and evaluate people based off of how, however people are presenting themselves? So for example, when you speak about like a, a woman that she dresses provocative or every picture that she posts on Instagram is, you know, top, not topless, but you know, very skimpy or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. I think that there's arguments on both sides of the spectrum that says, okay, you can't just prejudge this situation, but then there's other people on the panel that's saying, how can you not prejudge the, yeah. How can you not prejudge the, the, this woman or man or whatever, however they present themselves and you that mm -hmm. focus so much on image, I'd like to get your insight or what you, you know, what you think about that whole situation. Let me start with Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. Let me start with Dave Chappelle. When Dave Chappelle uh, did the whole bit about, running up to a man dressed like a police officer and she's in trouble. It's like, officer, 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 <coughs> ma'am, I need your help. Ma'am, you cannot, you cannot approach me that way, ma'am. I'm just, but I need your help. Well, and you're, and you're a police officer just because I'm dressed this way does not mean I'm a police officer. That's what he started off saying. He's like, well, conversely ladies, if you're wearing the uniform of a whore, when someone approaches you and assumes you're a whore, you can't get mad that they approach you like a whore. Now they understood it when the police officer was there, but we don't want it's like you don't want it, you don't want it the other way. You're dressing provocative and then you're getting upset that you get approached in a provocative sexual way. And the notion that human beings should not judge is just simply is just simply foolish. Human beings have evolved to operate on archetypes. The business of image says in seven seconds, people make up to 11 assumptions about you. It sticks. And that is a survival mechanism for the human being. Back before we had data, Internet, such and so forth. If a woman were to see the, a male frame on the horizon, she had to learn whether or not that was me, J.R., Rella or, 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 or Anton our walk, our gate, coming back home, and they had to learn at a distance to say, that ain't how they walk. That's bigger than female, not our man. Get the kids, get the stuff, let's go. Because if they got close enough into the village, the town or whatever, wandering nomadic men aren't usually coming to help. They're coming to take your stuff. Eat your food, are your women, Take your kids and sell them. And so women had to learn how to read social cues uh, uh, more than men because they were the more vulnerable. You learn how to look at somebody and determine by certain looks, certain stance, certain gates worldwide what person's likely friend or foe, priest 
or or blacksmith, we look at individual cues. We look at look at somebody's hands and tell whether or not they're a a, a physical laborer or haven't done a day's work in their life. Why? Because we learn how to survive. The brain is is evolved to take in a lot of information and, and sort it in ways to make sense of a very complex world. So to say that that doesn't work for image is just basically a bunch of people who don't want to be restricted uh, by the rules of I, existence. Go ahead. Can I ask a question, Kevin? Hi. Yeah. Um, so I definitely agree, as I've said several times uh, throughout the night, that... Um, you know, people are going to judge you based on how you look. You know what I'm saying? I get that. If you show, and I think this is an example I used earlier, if you show up into an interview with pajamas, it's not going to go well. I get that this is a thing that people do, but I'm just going to ask you, if you see a woman with a low cut shirt and a short skirt, are you personally, Kevin Samuels, going to treat her worse then you would treat a woman who was wearing whatever you might deem appropriate for the situation. When you mean, when you say treat, what are you referring to? Whatever you think it means. No. What do you mean? Cause I could, I treat people, uh, one way, but my mind, pro my thought process is going to be no, different. not your mind. I'm, right, you could think, and I said this earlier too. I'm I, I mean, I can choose. Up. Yeah, I can. You can I mean, think I can whatever you want, but I'm saying, would you treat them like uh, literally I'm, the I'm, actions I'm, that I'm, you I'm, do? I'm, no, no, I, I would actually uh, do what's possibly socially acceptable, but I would not respect her. And would she get the right, same in your head, right? And, and and would she be given the same benefit of the doubt that a woman who's dressed more appropriately in my mind would get? Absolutely, probably, positively not. Not until I got to know her. And see, that's the problem. See, you but you would treat the, her with respect, right? No, you no, see, you miss. You didn't get the rest. I would. I she would. The perception she would get is she was getting the same treatment. But it right, would work perception. against her. No. I'm asking her. if you can I finish Kevin, my statement? Can I finish my statement? It'll make sense. Yeah, but you're I think I feel like you're evading the question. I'm not you evading the question. I'm answering the question. Answering the question. You're not listening. I said mm -hmm. I would sit there and treat her as a, I would treat anyone else, but she okay. would not get the right. same benefit of doubt. In my mind, she would lose, she would lose credibility and she'd have to overcome that confirmation bias. See, right that's in your point. mind. Yeah. No, no. It, 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 here's the thing: is what is, is wearing is 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 wearing a low cut this or a high cut that worth having to overcome the inertia of confirmation bias that you cannot control, or is it better to dress in a certain way to where people can understand who you are at first, and you don't have to dig yourself out of a hole? That's a choice we all have to make. Kevin, I absolutely understand that that's how people are. You don't want to, like, if I go on a job interview, I keep using this example. I'm not going to show up in pajamas and then try to like, uh, make up for it later. <laughs> like, I don't want that to be my first impression. I get what you're saying. And I know that people do that. I was just asking if you see a woman out with a short skirt and low cut shirt, are you going to treat her with any less respect than you would treat a woman that was dressed appropriately by your standards. The, yes or no? For the fourth time, no. For the fourth time, no. Because I okay. I don't know that woman. And will I say hi? Exactly. But the but the point of the matter is exactly. is that the sum total of the interaction you will have with that person? How do I know this person? Is it going to just be a I'm just walking by and I'll see somebody? No different than I see a homeless person. I don't treat them any different. I I, I don't not necessarily exactly. relate to it, but to say, but to say that those people, but that's in an instant. No, I that's agree with you with that. Okay, mm -hmm. so and my question to you is: Do you make the same judgments we all make in the first seven seconds? I'm absolutely. You know what? People have been making these assumptions. Yeah, you're about not. Me you're not answering on, the question. People have been making making these assumptions about me based on I don't know, but I definitely believe that there are judgments that happen to keep you safe, judgments that happen to you know you navigate your life in a way where you're going to judge 
situations, people, whatever. K, you asked me to answer your question directly. Did you did you answer my question directly? What was your question? Say it again. <laughs> wow. Did you make the same assumptions that we all make in the first seven seconds? I don't know. What are the assumptions we all make in the first seven seconds? Uh, let's see. Socioeconomic status, relative educational level, uh, uh, attractiveness, um, sexual orientation, uh, sophistication, education. No, so, I don't make all those. I would say the only one that I make is okay, so, so maybe what you're saying, level. What you're saying, I so, don't what assume. You're, so what you're saying is that the accepted science of image for all human beings, your brain doesn't work like the rest of the human brains on this on this on this planet. Why did you ask me if you feel like it's not? I wanted to see if you I wanted to see if you were going to at least understand that you are human and your brain is evolved like the rest of our brains. Whether or not you accept that they exist, that's how we've evolved. Mm -hmm. I'm human. I definitely well if you if you're human, that, that means that means your your core code is the same as the female of the species. And my core code is the same as the male of the species. So whether or not we're in the first world country or whether we're right outside of the outside of the Stone Age, it is evolved in a similar pattern. That's it happens, it happens in an instant. You don't, it doesn't, you don't even get a chance to get to your conscious brain. This happens in your unconscious brain, your primitive part. The brain stem is where this happens. So for all of you us. That. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if you were going to, well, because you asked me to be direct about a question. If I wanted to see if you could be direct. Like, but, 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 you, but you didn't answer the question. You said, well, what are those things? The same things that are evolved. Yeah, because I didn't know what they were. Well, and that's my point. You judge too. Everyone, ju I did, that's I you. never said, yeah, I agree. Everyone judges. That's why I lock my door at night. Like, yeah. But Kay, but the but the but Kay, what you said was that we shouldn't judge. That's what you said. I that, said that exactly people should not said. treat someone with disrespect or whatever based on how they look. No, because the, the questions that you asked as a follow-up in order to try to prove your point was based off of whether or not we judge people based off of the look or if they walking behind us or if they you, got a hoodie or if we judge people in the, if we judge men and whether or not they, you know, going to be violent or whatever like that compared, said, compared hey, you don't to, have to compared, listen. You don't have to listen. Compared, compared to whether or not we judge women according to the to what they're wearing and you were saying that you don't do that and we shouldn't do that because x y and z. That's exactly what happened. I literally said you can think whatever you want. You can think whatever you want. Run the tape back. I said you can think anything you want. <laughs> My only issue is with you treating someone negatively because they, you feel they don't meet up to the standard of whatever you feel like they should look like. I you think can think whatever you want. I, whatever. I think the disconnect is when you're saying someone is being disrespected or someone is telling you that I don't have respect for a person. So therefore I can say, if I see a woman walking out with everything out, dressed like a stripper, I don't have any respect for her. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go out my way to disrespect her. Exactly. Right. But you that's what we've been saying. It. So what and that's what I, I've been saying. I don't have to respect you, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to go out to dis No one on this panel yeah. Has ever well, said okay, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. No one on this panel has said we're going to disrespect someone. What we've said is that the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress, determines the respect value that you will get from me. And I have literally been agreeing with that this entire time. Oh my I've god! Made you know, you're what, what you're going to disrespect? No one here has said that we're going to go and slap somebody for having their boobs out. But what and we're saying I is that. Hey, Asha, I know no you had a question have any too, right? thought. And I didn't say no one has a thought about what somebody wears. I specific, I agree with you, Courtney. People are going to think certain things based on how people look. That's how it is in society. I absolutely know this. I know it. I mean, I'm like I said earlier, I'm not dumb. I know this. My only thing 
You can think whatever you want. You can think the girl with the short shorts is whatever, whatever. As long as you don't treat this person in a negative way, that's it. You can think anything you want. Well, I have, hold on, I hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, and people you know, that's are a, going to think things. Hold, hold on, but hold on. It's, so are outside you, of the thought. Hold on, hold on. So are you honestly trying to say that a person can dress in a, a, a way and they're supposed to get equal treatment at all times? Um, no, as I said earlier, if somebody comes to my wedding in a swimsuit, people are going to be like, what's going on? I said so this earlier. Difference? So what's the difference? Difference between what? I mean, I don't understand your point because at one, at one hand, it almost sounds like it's an absolute. You can think what you want, but you should never disrespect the person until mm -hmm. these, until these scenarios happen. If they come to your wedding in a swimsuit. Or if they yeah, show, up to, or they show up to a job interview in pajamas. Mm -hmm. Who gets to decide that list? Anybody gets to decide it. I understand well, then, that in our, uh, then your, your in example our society. Falls, hold on, man. Hold on. Then your example just falls apart because if anybody no, gets doesn't. to decide, yeah, let me. Can I finish, please? Because if just like oh, you could yeah. say your wedding or your job interview, I could say if you show up. To the shopping mall dressed that way. Mm -hmm. I get you said anybody gets to decide. So I get to decide just like you do. So your wedding could be my shopping mall. Because I'm out here because I don't want to see that. I got my you got your, your nephew, you got your kid. For whatever reason, if we all get to decide, that means your example falls apart based upon what you just said. Yeah, I get what you're saying, and that's what I've been saying the whole time that <laughs> Anyone can decide whatever they want to think. I agree with you, Kevin. You can think whatever you want about the woman with a bonnet. You can think whatever you want about the woman in a swimsuit at the mall. You can think whatever you want. I completely agree. Every single person gets to decide what that threshold is for them. I'm not arguing that. My point is that you cannot or you should not treat these people so if she um, showed up at your wedding and if she showed up to your wedding in a bikini you treat her with respect if a woman showed up at my wedding in a bikini i yes. would pull her to the side and be like why are you in a bikini at my wedding <laughs> you okay. would kick her and out said, i mean you would kick her out so you would like you 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 because because this is all i had to wear you treat her with respect um, I'm not going to disrespect someone that clearly might have some kind of issue going on because why did they show up to my wedding in a bikini? And if she's gay, Yo, this is the most cap thing that I yeah, this makes sense. all the shows. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just be real with you. Of all the no, shows, no, 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 you get finished, let's go to Ashley because she had a statement. Well, I'm, I'm gonna come to you, Ashley. But of all, I just gotta say this of all the shows that I've ever done, and we have been doing, we've done a lot of shows. K, this could quite possibly be the biggest cap I have ever heard. On because the, I'm saying I, that I'm not no no exaggeration. I don't think based on their clothing. Yo, okay, go ahead. Ash, if you kick her out your wedding, would you tell her oh. she has to go in a in a bathing suit? No, would she you tell her she, she has to go. If if a she yes no. yes yes no. with a bathing yes no. suit, yes would you no, tell okay. her you got to go? A yes or no, okay. If that's my yes friend, or no. no, I'm gonna try to see what's going on with her. Can't just be like, are yes you okay? 